Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to use MyFitnessPal. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're going to talk about MyFitnessPal. That's right, last week I talked about how I lost weight and one of the biggest biggest things that have worked for me was my fitness pal so I want to share that with you I told you I lost 65 pounds I think I'm almost up to 70 pounds now give or take a couple pounds that's right guys I'm gonna walk you through the app and show you how to use my fitness pal now before I get started I just want to tell you guys the setups really easy you make a username a password I'm not gonna show you that part but I am gonna show you how to add calories what all the buttons do what all the bells and whistles are how to hook your tracker to it and much much more now when you do go through the process like I said you put a username and password once you do that you add your height your weight I highly recommend before we get started with anything if you're setting this up putting that you're not active the reason why I say this it's gonna give you what's your level of activity the less active the less calories which will work better for you not unless you really have an active lifestyle I would go not active especially if you're going to put a tracker to it if you put not active all your tracking information information gets put in there and it'll show you how many calories you will add to your day. If you are active and you don't use a fitness tracker, then you could do it the way you want, but I would highly recommend that you don't put active. Let's get over to the phone, shall we? All right, so we're going to look at my fitness pal. Nice little app. You can get it at the App Store. This is actually my fitness pal. As you can see, just to give you a quick overview, this is how many calories I've eaten today. I'm allowed 2,000 calories for a day. I've only eaten so far, it's after dinner now, 1,483 calories, and I have 517 remaining. Just to take a quick look, let's just go through the buttons first. At the bottom, you have home, which is this right here, your diary, which tells you all your food that you have in and how many calories you had per meal which gives you a lot of information and in this one I just want to show you real quick you can also look at your nutrition and that tells you how you did tells you everything you need to know your protein your fiber sugar fat everything how much you've had like I had too much sodium today uh, it's probably french fries you could look at you know calories per meal you could look at how much carbohydrates you've had and fat and protein and you could look at you know I, I think that's a pretty good thing right there you know 32 percent 33 percent 35 percent I'd probably get the fat lower but you know it's information you have a lot of information here so let's go back let's exit out of this and we'll go down this is another cool thing and that's why I want to show you in the diary here when you complete your day and this was a good motivational for me you hit complete the daily day and I'm gonna hit complete so if I complete it now which I'm I'm not done with the day but it'll show you if you ate like this every day you'd weigh 242 pounds in five weeks it, it gives you kind of like hey if you do this every day that's where you'll be at which was a really good motivator for me so next on there, we don't want to hit the plus sign yet because that's a whole nother menu. Let's look at progress, which is right next to the plus menu. We're going to go right there. This shows you where I was, which I was like 320, like I told you guys, and how much weight you lost. And I know what it says. It says I started at 316. It's because I started losing weight before I started this, but I was up to 320 pounds. Right now, tomorrow is weigh in. I haven't weighed in. Tomorrow's going to be Thursday, and that's when I weigh in. And at the time of last Thursday, I was 250. 54 pounds. I actually got down lower, but like I said, we're in the holiday season. I ate a little bit and it says that I've changed 61 pounds, which is actually, it's 65 because I weighed 320 pounds at the time. Let's go down here. You can see all the different days where I logged in and you log your weight. You could also look at steps, which my Apple Watch keeps disconnecting from this, and I don't know why, so that's really frustrating because it says the last steps. I mean, you can see I do a lot of steps. I got to constantly resync it. I wish they would fix that already, and I tried several things. They're just not doing that. Anyway, you can pick anything you want, neck, wrist. I always just do weight. I don't really bother with any of that other stuff. If you're interested in that, you can do that. Now, if you click on more, this is the spot that I really wanted to show off to you guys because if you, if you go down here, you can view your profile. There's a lot of different things, new Nutrition. This goes into more things, but the biggest thing that I want to show you here, you can get into all this stuff, is the steps right here. Now, if you click on this, 
this, this is where you can link your activity tracker. Either your Fitbit, your iPhone, you can actually use your iPhone to move if you don't have a Fitbit or anything like that, or your Apple Watch. Or if, let's see if we click on add device, what other devices they got available. Let's see. It looks like we got quite a bit. I don't, I'm not familiar with a lot of these, but these look like other trackers that you could get. So there's, you know, if you guys need that information, there it is. All right, so let's go back to the main menu. Let's say you're at home. If you click on the pop plus button, you got a lot of information here. We got status. You can look at your status. I guess you could put that in. I never bother with that, putting notes in or something like that. Not my, not my forte, if you will. Water. I don't really do water. You probably should. You could either tap on the 8 ounce, 7, 17 ounce, or 24 ounce, or you could put in the ounces that you want of water if you want to keep track of your water. Let's get out of that. If you hit on the plus symbol again, we can go to food. This is where you pick what you want to add into your diary. Now, there's two ways to do this. You could either do it from here and you pick breakfast or whichever meal you're working with at the time, or you can actually go into your diary and add a food right here. So there's two places to add food. So you can go into your diary and then click add food or you can click on the plus symbol and then hit add food and then it asks you to pick a category and I highly recommend that you guys stick with the categories just because it keeps track of what meals you're eating and when so that way you can be like hey listen I eat too much at breakfast or I eat too much at lunch or I'm more of a nighttime eater or I'm snacking too much you can figure it out. Okay so let's say you want to add something let's let's look at breakfast okay when you're in here if you click on the location and I'm gonna blur that out because it's my location. It'll find restaurants near you. I don't have any restaurants near me, so that's not gonna work. You could do barcode, which I'm filming right now, so you're just gonna be staring at my router, and then you could scan a barcode, or you can just type in the food. Another thing is, as you start eating things like garlic fries, and you know, you see all this stuff underneath here, this is food that I eat on a regular basis that I can add automatically, or frequently meals, my foods. You can create a food, can W stuff that I eat on a regular basis, or you can create a food that you make on a regular basis. It's a lot like recipes, which is weird. Meals, I never use this, and that's, I guess, oh, maybe we do use this. See, my wife's more into this than I am because she uses it a lot more because she keeps track of a lot of this stuff. But recipes, you can create a recipe. She has a pasta dish, tacos, mushroom. Okay, mushroom onion chicken, mushroom chicken. She makes that and sausage and egg whites. These are things that I eat on a regular basis that she makes for me. Fruit salads, turkey avocado. That way she could just tap them and put them in automatic. Let's say I'm gonna have garlic fries or I wanna type it in. Let's type it in. Let's say fries. Okay, so let's say the garlic fries or let's say we want just regular fries. So that's how much it is. It's 180 calories, 27 carbs, 7.5 grams of fat, and 1.5 of protein, which is weird. And serving size is 10 pieces. So you can click on the serving size and you can change it right here up and down. So let's say it's one serving. That's one serving. Let's say you want to have two. All right, we'll put two servings. So now we're up to 240 calories. And if you hit the check mark. Now, if you want to change the serving, let's say, you know, you don't want to make it 10 fries. Let's say you want to count out the fries. If you want to get that crazy, you can go by pieces. Boom. Now you got pieces. So you're having two fries. It's 24 calories. So if you add that in, you hit the check mark right up in the corner there. Boom. It goes into your, well, I put it in breakfast. I don't know why I'm having that for breakfast. Now let's say you decide, you know what? That's going to be too much for breakfast. I don't want to mess this up. I'm having a good day. You could swipe it and then delete it. And that's how easy it is to add your meals. You know, it's a really straightforward. Another cool thing, if you want to go back later on and see what you ate the other day, you can go back, tap the arrows up top there so you can see what you ate the other days. And if you go to like, it, like let's say we go to yesterday. This is everything I ate yesterday. I had lunch. I, I went pretty low there. I didn't add my water. This is everything that I ate yesterday. You guys can get an idea. Had a wide, low fat mozzarella, uh, turkey sausage patty, two 12 ounce cups. Well, a total of 12 ounces of coffee. Let's see how good I did yesterday. If we want to complete it, you can either scroll all the way to the bottom and hit complete right here and it'll tell you which I'm going to hit cancel or you can hit up in the corner here complete and then complete daily. So if I complete the daily, if I kept to that type of food intake, I'd weigh 247 pounds. Now, let's go back to the plus symbol. Now that you know how to add food in, let's go back to the plus symbol and look at exercise. 
I don't really do this. I told you guys I don't really do exercise, but you could do cardio. You could add cardio. I haven't done really added this, but we could take a look at it. Cardio. No, I did do this. I did ellip elliptical for a little while or walking. You can add these in. I like to use my fitness tracker to keep track of that stuff. The last thing I want to show you, and I think it's one of the biggest, is your weight. You can type in your weight of how much you weigh, and you can even take a picture of yourself and then hit the check mark and it adds your weight in for that date. And like I said in my last video, don't weigh yourself every day. I mean, it's just a number, just it's something just to keep track what you're trying to accomplish and just to see your progress. Don't get hung up on it. I've hit a lot of plateaus. I mean, you can see if you go into my weight, I hit a lot of plateaus. It, it seems to me it was fives. Every time I would get to like 285, it would stay 285 for like ever. And then I'd finally lo start losing and then it would start creeping down again. And then it would hit to like 275. And I was like, it would just stay there forever. Like you can click last six months. I'll just show you guys the last six months. So you, you could change that right up there. I mean, you could see the plateaus. It goes up and down, up and that's just, you know, you have good weeks and you have bad weeks. You have more active weeks. You have less active weeks. But ultimately, if you look at it, it's going down. I mean, you can see this the dip up right here. You can see that dip up. Let's see, like, just this month here. We'll go in here. Last month, you could see where it jumped up because I spent five days in New York and the food's really good there. If you ever visit, definitely get the food. That is basically it in a nutshell. That is my fitness pal, a quick overview how it works how you can add your food in so that's basically the app guys in a nutshell if there is something i missed i will do a quick tip and that's another reason for you to like and subscribe so i know if this is stuff you want to see and if you subscribe and i said huh i missed something i'll do a quick tip and boom you'll be informed there's a bell icon it'll tell you hit it when i make a video you'll get an email Simple concept. I hope this helped you guys in your journey of weight loss. It's helped me out drastically. Play with it, try it out. Make sure you like and subscribe. And remember, you can do anything, and I mean anything, if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. Show you how. Stay tuned. I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple, guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button. And then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.